Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to put together this little revolving blurb to image hover effect. And we've got a blurb section here and if you hover over it with your mouse it should show us an image. There we go and it spins out and reveals an image. When you let go it spins back in. That's a great little effect and we're going to do that with all the onboard features of Divi. We don't have to write any code for this today. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once the Visual Builder is enabled, let's go down to where we want to go. And first thing I'm going to do, I've got a section, blue tab, a row with three columns, one, two, three. And for my first one there, I've got a little blurb module. So let's put a blurb module in our last section over here. Now Divi comes by standard as default with all these modules and there's plenty enough to build just about any sort of site. It also has got a dozen or so more if you've got WooCommerce installed to use with your products. So I'm going to just put a simple blurb in this just like I've done in the previous one. And as you can see it puts in a, a sort of default text and an image. I'm going to put in a title, I'll just put a title in like I did there purely because I've got an image of a laptop. I guess I'd better capitalize that. Uh, the rest of it, I'm going to leave exactly the same. I'm going to scroll down a bit. I'm going to use an icon instead of an image. And again, Elegant Themes comes with all of these icons as standard. If you want to take the Divi for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. And it's an awesome theme. So put in whatever link you want. I'll put in that question mark again. There we are, it's right there. The only other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to centralize my text. So I'm going over to the design tab, text. Let's move this across so you can see what's going on a bit better. And I'm going to centralize it there. Now you can't see it because there's no background, but I'm going to give it a bit of padding all around just so when it revolves, it's got a bit of space. So again, on the design tab, let's close up the text by left clicking on it. Let's go down to spacing and I'm going to give it 20 pixels padding all around. Just need to put in the 20. It'll put in the pixels for you. Hit the link. It'll do the opposite side. Same with the left and right. There we go. So we've got a bit of padding all around it now. OK, now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to give it a white background. And you might think, well, why? Because the background's white already. Yeah, it is, but actually at the moment it's got no background and it's just showing us the background or the row or the section that's behind it. So I'm going to go into content. I'm going to go down a background and color, gradient, image or video. I'm going to stay on color. I'm just going to give it a white background. OK, let's just save that. Now let's go in and put an image on the actual column that's behind it. Because so we've got a row here with one, two, three columns. So if we go into our row, the green tab here, let's go into column three, because this is column three, obviously. And I just want to go down to the background and put an image in. And again, it's color, gradient, image, or video, if you prefer. And click on the image and add an image. I'll use the same one as I did before, just this little picture of a laptop. Now, if you were doing this for a product or something, if you wanted to, you could scroll down or well, actually scroll up and hit the link, put in the link of your product. And when they clicked on it, it would take them to the product. Now, you can't see that at the moment, so there's not, not much point doing it. But if you wanted to do that, that'd be fine. OK, and you say, well, we've got that in there now, so I can't see it, what's the point? Well, let's fix that. Let's go and have some fun with our little blurb module here. Because at the moment we've got an image. I'll show you it's there. If I go in there, just go to the background and delete that. You'll see the image is behind it. So let's put that color back in. Now, what do we want to do? Well, I want to make this when people hover over it, I want it to spin around and disappear. So we'll spin around and go transparent so we can see the picture behind it when the mouse is on it. 
and that way if you do link it to a product or something they can just click on it so let's fix the first thing first let's make it let's make it transparent on spin so let's go to our design tab let's go down to filters I'm gonna go down to opacity now if you hover your mouse over the word opacity these little icons should appear click the little arrow and it'll then give you an option for desktop or non hover state and hover which is hover state obviously so when we're not hovering on it I want it to be just like it is so I'm not going to change anything when we are hovering over it I'm going to click on that I'm going to bring the opacity or see-throughness if you like all the way down to zero so it's invisible great so when they're hovering over it they're just going to see this nice image and like I say you can link it if you wish okay next thing I want to do let's put it back on the desktop version is I want to make it spin around now to do that we need to go down to transform and I'm going to use transform rotate which is this one right here and you can spin it backwards and forwards. you can spin it laterally for me today I'm going to spin it around this way now again I don't want it spinning when we're not hovering over it so let's hit the black transform right there hit the little arrow again and you've got your desktop and hover states once again so when it hovers I want it to spin around almost 360 but not quite 360 we'll put it about there that, that should do fine now by default this is all going to happen in about 300 milliseconds which is way too fast I want mine to be slow and then when they take their mouse off of it I want it to sort of come back slowly so let's fix that let's go over to our advanced tab and we're still we're doing this all on the blurb settings and I want to go down to transitions and you can see transition duration that's the time it takes to do our transitions to to the opacity and the transform so let's pull this up I'm going to pull it up pretty far to maybe a second and a half if you prefer you can type in a value up here and you can fine-tune it if you wish with the little arrows right there now for the speed curve I want it to ease in and out so I'm going to say ease in out that way when they hover over it it'll sort of ease in do its thing then we take the mouse off it'll ease its way back out again so that's pretty much it I think we should have achieved our objective now so let's just save the changes save the page changes hit the save button once saved let's exit the visual builder let's go down and see what we've got and at the moment it's just a regular blurb when we hover over it there we go it sort of spins out and disappears and reveals our image behind like I say you could have a link on that image and take take people to a product or what have you when you take your mouse off of it again it's going to spin back in and that's a pretty cool effect like I say if somebody's just moving their mouse across your page and that starts to happen it's instantly going to draw their eye to it I quite like that and once again that's purely done with the inbuilt features of the Divi theme so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day